Okay, great. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. We appreciate that. Okay, today's presenter is our friend Andrew Harrington from Columbia College. You might have seen him around here before because he did exactly what presenters are supposed to do. He came to a bunch of One Million Cups meetings first, and he watched all of you present, and all of you ask questions, and so he's ready to go. He knows exactly how to handle this crowd. I hope you'll give him a very warm welcome. Welcome, Andrew Harrington. <laughs> Thank you for that introduction, Casey, and good morning, everybody. Good morning. Okay, some of you may need a cup of coffee before we get started, but I'm Andrew Harrington. I am the founder of Andrew Jamison Bowties, but before I get started into my business, I think it's important that we all know where we came from to know where we're at. So a little bit of background knowledge about me. I also attended Columbia College Evening College with a major in Computer Informational Science and a minor in Business Administration. That will be important a little bit later. But I'm also was part of the Nair Entrepreneurship Fellows, one of six in South Carolina, or one of six in the US. It just so happens there's two in South Carolina, one at Columbia College and one at USC. And with that being said, um, we accept 10 new fellows every semester, and so they're able to learn about entrepreneurship. It doesn't matter if they plan on starting a business or not, it's always an important skill to have no matter what business you're going in. As you all may recognize, some of you may be in this room because you want to start a business, some of you may be able to be in here to enhance a business that you're involved in. Last year, I applied to the McNair Microseed Grant. Just so that for you that do not know what that is, all students at Columbia College were able to apply to this, whether you were in a McNair Entrepreneurship Fellow or not. They were able to apply for up to $5,000. They could have a business idea, have a business that was already started up, or looking for ways to enhance a business that was already started and they're looking to continue to grow. So, with my major in computer informational science, it made complete sense to go into the fashion industry. <laughs> so that, when, the reason that I came up with this idea is my sophomore year in college, I kept on thinking about bow ties because growing up, my brothers and I all wore them, all three of us, and I saw that whenever we'd go into Belk, you would see the same cloth bow tie back to back to back, but it'd be in different colors. The only thing that was different is the name tag or the label on the inside. Then I noticed um, two years ago that people were starting to play with different medias. Maybe you've heard of brackish bow ties. They play with feathers. I've even seen metal ones and even wood ones. But I started to question myself, why is nobody making them out of leather? I'll tell you what, whenever I got started with this process where I had to hand chisel each hole, go back and sew it, and it took four hours, I realized why nobody was doing it. <laughs> So, just to give you guys an idea, this is what we started with. It was a self-tied bow tie. You know, it's not the worst bow tie I've ever seen in my life. A lot of people actually thought that it looked really nice. Something I realized that myself, as well as some of my customers did not like though, is it took about 30 minutes to tie, because if you look at the threads on the end, that's wax, because that's what you have to use with leather. So it kind of clinch onto itself, so you're trying to tie it, it's not wanting to move, and it was just really difficult to tie. On top of that, it's a little bit bulkier than the bow tie that people tend to wear as well. So I took all of that um, into consideration while I started to redesign and look at how I can enhance this product. Because of course, with it saying Andrew on it, I wanted to make sure that my name was putting out a very reliable and beautiful product. With the McNair um, Seed Grant, I was able also able to buy more materials and enhance my leather skills. So we came out with the pre-tied bow tie. And with leather, if you tie it in the front, we also had to think of how we were gonna design the back to make it even easier because another complaint we saw with pre-tied bow ties is you had to know what the size of the neck was. So we actually created simple as your belt. You would just slide it into the hoop, make it um, tight, and you would just slide it into the loop itself. So with the McNair C grant, we were able to continue on with this idea. And in addition, we were able to start going into locations and forming partnerships. All this could not have been done without that McNair C grant. So first off, I was able to try to go to Soda City. At, for those that do not know, it's the local market held on city. But I really want to capitalize the word market. A lot of people that were going there were looking for produce or cheaper products. Keep in mind, I have a leather bow tie that sells for $79.95. Who goes to the market with $80? <laughs> I see no hands. Okay, so moving on. I was it was really good at Christmas and Father's Day, but other than that, Soda City was not my market, and that's okay to realize that you go somewhere and it doesn't work because that's what this grant is for. Moving on, I was also have the privilege of being on the Shops on Main. We were at the Grand a couple of weeks ago. They're actually owned by the same partner, and that's where that um, relationship was started. And I realized that our market is not 
in markets itself, but it's more along the fashion industry. And also I need to be a step ahead because right now they're already starting to plan for their fall designs. So I always have to be a step ahead when in the fashion industry. And that was a hard lesson to learn at first. Also, my target audience in stores are typically women, middle-aged women, because they're shopping for their husbands, nephews, sons, things along those lines. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, this past summer, uh, spring, I was able to make a connection with Tux on Trucks. He was actually here, I believe, two years ago, um, and they rent tuxedos out to high school students as well as co college students. At first, it sounded like a great idea, but then we realized I'm marketing to high school students. They're not really looking to buy an $80 bow tie either, even though it is leather. So I was able to adjust to my idea of going into a high-end retail, as well as my audience was men and women, because even though we were trying to market to students, the admin and students were, or admin and faculty and staff, they were coming in saying these look great and actually purchasing them, even though it was not meant for them at the moment. With all this being said, we're still trying to grow. I'm still trying to look for new ideas, and that's exactly why I'm here today. So thank you so much for the six minutes this morning, and I look forward to hearing your questions. Thank you.